And on that note, we are live. Sorry, uh, I was focused. It's I'm true. eating chips. Focus training. <laughs> Literally. I don't I don't think you understand. It takes all of my mental energy just to figure out which things I'm clicking because I'm so sleep deprived. Fair enough. I mean, so am I. So we are back. It it had to be done, as I said. Uh, had to do an epilogue. We're probably actually going to do another one next week, in fact. And that's there's things I I wanna I wanna tie up. You know, I wanna tie up some loose ends. I I know the players do, and I'm yeah for YouTube's sake. They also need to be dealt with. So there's that. All right. So we're doing a one year time skip. Uh, I guess we can start with what has everybody been doing for this year? Stuff. I mean, for you, you were basically in ROTC for a year. Yeah. Basically. How you? about you, Barry boy? What you been doing? Berries? Uh, yeah, Seth kind of like, he probably stuck around for like a week or two just to do the weird obligation champion bullshit stuff and then went home and has been avoiding all other bullshit champion stuff since so he probably hasn't been heard from a lot <laughs> even by like you know Eleanor who is prop insistently texting him in Axel he's just been focusing on getting uh on running the farm and shit even though he Kinda doesn't want to. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Eleanor's heart breaks for Barry Boy not wanting to bury. <laughs> well, like, if you noticed, like, he just stopped checking on his berries like a good three weeks before the end of the campaign. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, it, it's what his family expected of him, so it's what he's going to do until a certain chaotic force drags him away. You mean Eleanor? Of course I mean Eleanor. Yeah, you know, me and you, we're the same side, or we're the same coin, just different sides. Your parents ran a berry farm. They said, hey, we want you to run this berry farm. And you said, okay... And then my parents own a ranch making textiles out of Mareep wool. And my mom said, Eleanor, you're you're gonna take over the family business. And I said, No. No, <laughs> I'm gonna go somewhere way far away from here. And Eleanor has absolutely been running amok for a year. Being an absolute menace to society. No, no. Eleanor absolutely is doing this for the greater good of society. But How she's she doing it, in... it to herself. <laughs> I mean, I would argue that working in conjunction with, you know, with Cypress and Co. Trying and to uh, the mob boss. Listen, I haven't gotten to that part of my backstory yet. <laughs> uh, you know, working with Cypress on, you know, identifying and purifying the shadow Pokemon that, you know, clean up the mess that Ardo so kindly left for us. Um, and also establishing herself as, um, the new, the, the new leader of Renegade that she just kind of decided on her own because, let's be honest here, she made Jackie her bitch. <laughs> and, uh, they're gonna help. So they, they've, I imagine if Scooty let it be, which he didn't object to it when I sent him my paragraph. Uh, yeah, Eleanor just kind of stormed into um, the club, found Jackie, said, Boy, you're coming with me. You uh, have some community service to do. And we've been chipping away at, uh, you know, these shadow Pokemon for a year. Yep. Yeah, I did not. I did not object to that in the in the slightest. Because uh, again, it was pretty obvious that the team renegade to him is is more of of muscle in a way. 
I mean, he really just cares about the damn nightclub. So as long as he gets to keep that, I, he's pretty alright. Please don't make me have to justify making new NPCs that run the nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> I literally said that to Scooty. I'm like... You know, this is what I was thinking. I don't know if you're going to let me, but it gives you a reason not to throw all of Renegade into jail. <laughs> it's, it's true. Now, I don't care about the generic grunts all that much, but keeping Jackie and Nest around, it's always nice to have recurring NPCs. <laughs> they're may, at may... her beck and call, so obviously they're going to be around. Where right. Eleanor goes comes, unfortunately, Nestor. And chaos. It's okay. That just means you're being driven around in like the most obnoxiously is a purple convertible. Ah. He drives a motherfucking army tank. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> also, did you ever have him make amends with, with his brother, uh, Gluco Glucose father? You know... I was hoping um, we could get through this without another mention of Glucko's <laughs> father. I, I never Absolutely considered not. what I would do. Um, you know, Eleanor's main prerogative here is the, the shadow Pokemon. I'm sure at some point Glucko's father would get brought into it. I don't know if it would have been within the seer or if it would be after, you know, shadow Pokemon or, you know, you know, that's kind of resolved. I yeah. did remember about Glucko's father. But that's just because I watched the episode talking about his brother and I was like, all right, let me remember who his brother is and who I threatened to get involved. Has to be Gluco's father. Yep. Yeah. Now that the year has passed, there's always been like little strange phenomenons, supposedly. You know, you've had people that say that they've been seeing almost what looks like land masses in the sky and then they quickly dissipate or... Sometimes the the night sky would appear more purple in a way. But what is bringing all of you together is recently there has been, it would have been described as moon rocks landing uh, in a place called Lake Verwood, which is outside of Verwood Town, where Seth lives. Um, now I assume that it, maybe his father wouldn't, would probably just keep him on the farm, or try his best. Am I correct about that? Yes. Yeah. He, he wouldn't believe in no moon rocks. <laughs> Do you think that they have a TV? <laughs> God, that is fair. It's, it's like a really old, like, orinberry that rolls over once new mold grows. No, like an actual plasma television that, you know, you hear it whenever you turn it off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. God. All right. Uh, so with that, I think we can get started then. Unless there's anything else to pick my brain about or anything. We good to go. Yeah. That, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. All right. I guess we can start with Seth. Seth, what are you doing? Uh, it's honestly probably a rare day that the entire family is working on the farm. Uh, well, minus it looks like Sam's <laughs> uh, one sister, but usually one of the boys is you know, locking himself in his bedroom while the other one runs amok and runs into the woods. Seth's usually the one that's left to just do the majority of the work alongside his father, but I guess it's a nice day or something and his mom might have <laughs> got the two boys like to stay and help. But Seth's been pretty much entirely dedicating his time to uh, trying to, you know, learn how to do everything on his own and he... I don't think he owns a single shirt anymore that doesn't have, like, uh, mulch just permanently caked into it. <laughs> Fair enough. Is he Fair still enough. wearing the jorts? No, his mom would not allow that. <laughs> Especially not the homemade cut-off jorts. 
he got some new boots and she uh she probably got him a new pair of jeans that because of all the kneeling from a uh, you know, planting berries and taking care of everything has probably already been patched up a couple times by her. Now listen here, boy. I already told you no jorts. Stop trying to take your legs off by kneeling down and breaking your jeans. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to respond to that. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, it begins. That was well, the she's most. She's more of the, like, sweetie, you don't even have to ask, I'll help you. While his dad is like, look at what you're doing, making your mom do all this unnecessary work. <laughs> and while he's sitting over there watching Seth take care of the whole fucking farm. We can pan over to El Eleanor and, and Spira, who arrived roughly at the same time. Um, Eleanor walked here uh, because she does not own a single flying Pokemon. In her disgusting, chaotic box of Pokemon, I don't think. You mean she didn't just fall out of the sky on Tuba and cause some, you know, structural damage to the place? I, I just teach Tuba Splash. It's like that one Taylor episode of Pokemon. Learn bounce. You could just bounce across the countryside. Don't, don't give me ideas. I also could have, like, jet-rocketed on Mizu, but, uh... No, she, she definitely, like, either walked here herself or harassed Jackie until he gave her a ride. <laughs> a purple convertible and uh, someone astride a Corviknight and enter a, enter a small farming village. Here, I'll, I'll add it for you. Um, oh god. Let's see. Configure drawing. Um... Yeah. I assume Spear is like, what what the hell is that gaudy ass thing? Yeah, she's she's wearing uh obviously didn't uh change the sprite at all, which is fine. Um, I didn't she's, either. <laughs> she's uh she's wearing um she's probably wearing like the stock standard like ah. <laughs> It's uh, the Grimace mobile. I was gonna say, why'd you run over Grimace? <laughs> <laughs> Scooty, can you add can you add Jackie to the to the stage, please? Okay. Yes, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... Spira, how are you entering? Um, well, she, um, probably just glides down as gracefully as a giant steel bird can. And, uh, th you know, probably makes the ground shake when she lands. Uh, she's wearing the, 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 like, flight helmet. And she's wearing, uh, a, uh, uh, like the the ROTC sort of uniform, like it's obviously not like like a a feet like a um what would you call it a uh, like a patrol uniform. It's just uh, it's just like fatigues. Her, well, uh huh. You're yeah, basically. Fatigues? Yeah, basically. Um. And, um, she's got, like, the, the little, the pins on it to, to say, like, to denote, like, her, her rank or whatever. And, uh, yeah, she just lands on the, on the ground, because she obviously can spot the garishly colored convertible from, uh, like, half a mile away. But that thing back where it came from, or so help me. <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, she like waves, like flags down, uh, Eleanor. And I have to move Valor so that I can move. So she hops down, 
I realized no, I was post. muted. Ooh. You didn't even hear me say Eleanor feet. <laughs> Eleanor feet. Uh, I was asking Scooty a question. Scooty, is this convertible converted or is it um, is it top up? Uh, how would you prefer it? Well, depending on how you do it, it changes what Eleanor is going to do. Regardless, Eleanor is going to be annoying as shit. Uh, top down. Uh, damn it. <laughs> top up <laughs> then. That's why I ask you. All right. So, seeing uh, Spira, who Eleanor is uh, pretty good at identifying, uh, you know, make her way down to the ground gracefully, Eleanor starts pulling on the handle of the, the car door that is locked. Jackie, Jackie, let me out. Jackie. She's got the child box on. <laughs> Jackie. That, and she's like, <laughs> click, like clicking it super fast. Dude, come on. I have stuff to do, please. Ugh. Yeesh. Fine, fine. I want to get out of here anyways. And he, he just hits the button to uh, oh, open up the top. D just hop out. Come on. Cue the Eleanor. Like, five minute montage of him <laughs> trying to like time the unlock button with Eleanor's incessant <laughs> pulling of the door handle and then it never actually unlocks. It's okay. I thought he was going to say that the door unlocks and I was going to say, well, Eleanor was like pulling at the handle and like pushing on the door trying to force her way out and as it unlocks she just kind of tumbles out of the car <laughs> oh god well okay so since the top is now down eleanor you know scrambles to unbuckle herself because safety first and she literally just hops over the car does she trip no, she does it gracefully. <laughs> her foot, her ankle gets caught in her seatbelt. Look, I'll, I'll see you later, kid. All right, I, I, I gotta go. I'm allergic to berries. Bullshit. But okay, see you later. And Bye. Just peels out. <laughs> He's so lucky Seth didn't never throw a berry at him. <laughs> it gives me hives. Well, anyway, after watching Jackie peel out of here, and I'm sure Spira is utterly confused as to why Eleanor is clamoring out of a bright purple convertible saying bye while like waving at Jackie. She just yells Spira and runs. Hello, Eleanor. It's too late. You're already on the ground. Eleanor definitely jumped on you. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Hello. I missed you! Right, I wish I could say the same. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Damn. Well, you know what? You might not have missed me, but Valor definitely did. <laughs> and Valor looks looks down at you in that in that like, you know he can't not glare because it's a Corviknight. But but he does like press his big big old beak against you yes eleanor's dying happy giant crow nuzzles no oh that's terrifying i hate that i did not ah. make any death, i just want to say ah. it's not even how he currently looks it's okay nope. he hasn't seen you in a year exactly I did you make one for Spira too? I yeah, I believe so. <laughs> that is the shiftiest <laughs> motherfucker I've ever seen. Look, I tried my best. <laughs> no, it's great. I love him. You know, to be honest, this is reminiscent of when I tried to make my own sprite. It ironically just looks like that. Uh... Not of Spira, but of a. Uh... Uh, uh, just another character just trying to figure out how spriting works. Yeah, the uh, the trainers, uh, they don't have mouths. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so weird. Anyway, she she just goes, um, well, I, um, I saw the news that um, there was some something going on at the lake, and I figured I might as well stop by the town and and scoop up Seth so he can go investigate. 
Same. Asshole hasn't answered any of my texts. Kind of rude, if you do say so yourself. Um. I didn't. But I agree. I know, how dare he? Um. Okay. Do you, do you know where he lives here? I've actually never been to Burwood. I've flown over it a couple of times, but, I mean, we've seen one berry farm, you've seen them all. I guess you just have to look around. That, that is very, that's fair. Also, the, the ditto, like, being me is very weird. I don't have control over him. He has right. control of his own life now. He is sentient, all being, um, and how dare you? He is our mascot. Team feet all the way, and she uh, does a weird hand sign that makes absolutely no sense. I've been working on it. She, uh, she just, like, stares at you. And and then and then she looks down at the at the ditto who is just like looking up at her and she just goes Yep. He jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just for, for clarity's sake and so I don't have to keep dragging him around. Uh Eleanor picks feet up and puts feet like on her head. And, alright, well, let's get looking for him. Uh, alright. I know, I know he likes berries. There are berries here. There are berries everywhere, Eleanor. I know, but, like, this one has a well. <gasps> Do you think he's stuck, like, that one time? He almost drowned. <laughs> I... No, Eleanor I... kind of peeks down. Uh, it looks like the water level is actually pretty high in that well. Do you think he drowned? No, Seth? Eleanor. I don't think he's in the... A, uh, a whooper just pops up and like squirts water in your face. She, uh, she kind of is... I mean, she's surprised by that, so, uh, she kind of, like, flails backwards and lands on her ass with water just dripping from her face. Yep. Yep, that's what I get for being an asshole. One day I'll learn. But today's not that day. And Free she, whooper. you know. She, uh... Free whooper. Whoopa! Whoopa! Uh, well, she leans back over the, um, the well and makes eye contact with Wooper, who, I don't know, maybe he's laughing. Is he laughing? I don't know. Answer me, DM. It's just, uh, blankly staring at you. Thank you. It was very hot today, and that was nice and refreshing. Have a good day, sir. Yes! What? That fucking smug ass look on that whooper. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's following us. Let's go. You know, so Scooty. What would you do if I made it so that we knocked on every single one of these doors and didn't leave until somebody answered? No oh, god. <laughs> you didn't think about that one, did you? <laughs> I mean, it's it's the backwoods. I'm pretty sure they'd answer with a, a shotgun to the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was trying to think of a a, a Pokemon, but uh, Just, yeah, it's an old man that's holding a lid in like those viral videos where they hold the cats like the guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I got a lid and I ain't afraid to use it. At this point, uh. It's Eleanor would just kind of resolve to yelling out Seth's name. <laughs> kind of like Marco Polo. Seth! Uh, Seth! Sphera just like... Just, just like looking... Looks back at Eleanor like with a withering look. Like, you don't have to yell. 
Well, how else is he supposed to hear us? We can't knock on every single door. That's weird. No, but we can go to the Pokemart and ask, like, where he is, because I'm sure they shop at the Pokemart. I don't know. Maybe. Or your yelling works. <gasps> ah. <laughs> yeah, that's back a here. <laughs> it's okay. We ran behind the he building. Hops the fence. <laughs> Eleanor also hops the fence, and hops it again, and hops back over. <laughs> Why are you like this? Um, because I am me. <laughs> It's okay, Seth. She gave me the same treatment. At this point, uh, well, we're in a line, so Eleanor just kind of, you know, puts both of her arms over you guys' shoulders and, like, team feed. No, we ain't! We is! Look, Seth, I'm, I don't know if you, if you know this or not, but there's been some, like, weird shit going on, like, over at the lake. So... We figured we would come pick you up because I, I took leave to investigate this, um, so. Shouldn't you, like, get paid if you're investigating for your, like, detective cop work? I mean, it's not exactly on my itinerary, you know, since I'm, like, still technically in training. Um, it, it's, it's a long story and a lot of red tape um but i digress you just hear in the distance boy get back here i didn't say you can leave it yet or those customers they looking for some berries no oh, boy get, get over here uh, no boy boy stay here uh, no boy. like at first when uh <laughs> his dad started yelling at him he like physically deflated it and then when eleanor starts talking back he like puts his hand up like shut the fuck up i'm going <laughs> Do not. <laughs> boy, stay here. No, boy, no, stay no. here. <laughs> He's trying to step in front of you. Stop. Well, who the hell are these? Who the um, hell are these? Well, these are um my hands. Eleanor. <laughs> who the hell are you? Uh, th th this is my my champion team. Oh, oh, good, lovely. What? What Eleanor. brings you here? I've come to take my boy back. I, I don't think. I I don't think so. It is peak berry harvest in season. Yeah, well, your boy is a champion, and he has obligations to me, Eleanor. His my best boy, friend. my boy is a my berry boy. farmer. No, no, no. My boy is a part of Team Feet, and oh. um, he belongs oh, I... to me. Oh, I didn't realize he went and got himself a wife. No, we're not married. Okay, then he's uh, my boy then. <laughs> no. Are you married to him? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's my son. You know, I you know, you might be a berry farmer, but I feel like that's going a bit far, my guy. <laughs> Look, what's it going to take to get you off my lawn? To give me my boy back. I I, I I already told you, it, it, it don't work that way. Why don't you, you go get someone something? else? Uh, because he's my boy, and he's part of Team Feet, and he's more afraid of me than he is of you. Uh-huh. Look, j just leave. He uh, he ain't got no champion stuff going on. Well, it's not a champion, it's a champion. So, uh, excuse me. Hey. Hey, nice hey. to meet you, child. Hey. Um, I, I have some business here with your brother. <laughs> hey, you get back here. This, this, this is my property. I don't care. <laughs> my boy! Seth ran off to, like, talk, basically hide behind his mom. <laughs> but yeah, she's taking care of his, like, youngest sibling, who is basically a toddler. And when Eleanor comes running up, Seth is like... Why, you can't Why is she being- <laughs> Bro! Oh my god! <laughs> they go up so fast! I always- I- I constantly forget. <laughs> they go up so fast! Wait, you didn't do that on purpose? <laughs> I just changed the direction and that resets their scaling. <laughs> <laughs>
Who are you calling little sister? <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Okay. Carry on. Boy. <laughs> will, you tell, will you tell your papa that you're more afraid of me than you are of him? <laughs> I think I broke him. <laughs> yeah, Seth gives you a look like, why the fuck would I say that to my own father? <laughs> Because you're more afraid of me than you are of him. That's a bold claim. We don't we don't do Pokemon here. Like I said, get out of here. Damn, not only are you rude, but you're no fun. How dare. And they also They ain't very useful. You are very useful. What? I you... beg to differ. I have a farm, <laughs> and it's Eleanor, very Eleanor, useful. Eleanor, you're Pokemon. trespassing. <laughs> I'm it sure I have your father. permission to be here. It ain't my land. <laughs> I'm not the one whose permission you need. She turns around and looks into the eyes of Seth's mom, who is definitely now noticing what is going on. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Seth's mom. <laughs> you, I uh, have permission to be here. I need your boy. He, uh, I need him. Of, of course. I, any one of Seth's friends is completely welcome. Of, of course. Isn't that right, dear? Uh, uh, uh well, I, I, yes. If I might interrupt. There's some ver something very important going on, and it's going on very close to here. And oh, don't I are you talking about that crazy stuff? Old 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 Trent is talking about uh, moon rocks. I'm talking about the phenomenon happening at the lake. Yes. Pa, oh, there are literally moonstones used to evolve Clefairy. Moon rocks aren't fake. <laughs> I ain't ever seen one. Because you don't let us have our Pokemon out. Be that as it and may. So there's not going to be a Clefairy you meet. The Corviknight Rider. I, as a captain of the Corviknight Riders, humbly request that we borrow your son to help us in an investigation to keep all of you safe. And then from the distance, one of the teenage boys goes, Ooh, Seth's in trouble. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to be in trouble <laughs> because <laughs> you need to take on the work of Seth. Seth's getting uh, arrested. Uh, tell, tell you what, uh, find me a replacement for him. You got any one of them yeah. something? That oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's some, Do your that's, thing, feet. That, that, that's some leftover jelly. No, Eleanor. Do your thing, feet. Stop. Stop. Do your thing, Do feet. Do not. No. No, uh. wrong one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is where he, like, pulls out Nestor or something. Yes. All right, come on, boy. What? Feet, be a good boy. What? 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 Why is I he got painting? you a replacement. Come on, boy. Uh. Awesome. Come on, Lucille. <laughs> He's just like, Ma, I know it's not in your power, but at least try to keep him from having a heart attack. Uh, it, uh, it just kind of like pokes it. He wiggles. <laughs> I, I, I guess this works. You know how to pick berries? Feet gives a thumbs up. But at least you don't talk back. I can't believe this word. Feet, you speak. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Feet p uh, fishes out of his pocket, his his jelly pocket, a notepad. <laughs> what do you mean I don't talk? I was taught English by my friend Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor Feet. Feet loves Eleanor. Wow, you even have better handwriting. <laughs> You didn't let me go to school to learn how to write well. <laughs> Mom had to threaten you to let me go to the Pokemon <laughs> education school. Literally, we're like, 
It's um, so far away and you're just screaming this. <laughs> anyways, uh, as you guys make your way onto the next route, and as you get to this little section, uh, you see uh, an older guy who he seems to just be babbling in hick. <laughs> and the motorcycle is parked off to the side. It's, it's pure white, uh, massive pipes on it. And you see a, a relatively familiar silhouette. But it, it just look, get the get the hell out out of here. Yeah, yeah. My Toros are already spooked. Get on out of here. Well, while that's happening, and he this this new character is very disgruntled. Eleanor just kind of puts her hands on his shoulder and looks around. I knew I smelled somebody. What's the problem? Yeah. I... <sighs> oh, great. What are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? Get something original. <sighs> I mean, look, it's look, it's good to see you and all. Somebody write that down. I'm going to need this for proof later when he inevitably tells me he hates me. I'll write it down. It's, uh, it's good to see you again, uh, Eleanor. The chick. Okay. I, I know who the chick is. I know who it is. Yeah. I just wasn't sure who you were talking <laughs> as. Yeah, obviously one of the Tauros. Well, no, maybe Axel was like, yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, I got my own mission to, to be here. Why are you here? Do I need Rocks your permission to be here? Like, what the hell? No, no, I'm just asking. Can you just work your magic and get this dude out of the way? Please? Boy! Work Stop your magic. Call Stop calling me boy! Well, your dad wanted to lay claim. And clearly, uh, you know, somebody else needs to establish claim. And, uh, since Axel won't claim being. it, no you over here, me. listen, before I scare your neighbor with whatever chaos I come up with, please, please talk to him. Do you have a name for this NPC, or just... His name is Old Man Trent. Uh, yeah, Seth, uh, before Eleanor started yelling at him, Seth was already, like, talking to Trent. Like, listen... I'm not the person to calm you down. I know that because Tanner is a little shit with your Tauros. But, uh, this is a friend of mine, believe it or not. I know the motorcycle's really disrupting, but the sooner that we get in and out, the sooner that things will go back to normal and I'll leave. He digs into uh, his shirt pocket and pulls out his dentures. And, uh, he, I mean, he puts them in and he just goes, Look, my, my fishing trip was ruined, and now my, my Tauros are all pissed off and... Hey, weird plants growing everywhere. I, I don't know plants? what the hell's going on. Uh, yeah. What well, kind of plants? I don't know. Weird giant ass weeds. Uh, that, that's what my Aunt Myrna... Well, well, Trent, she ain't Trent, my Aunt Myrna. Trent. Mer Trent, what? Trent. <laughs> How old's your aunt? Eleanor, <laughs> this ain't I, helping. No, no. See, I, I, <laughs> you I talk call to her. You talk people and they will talk forever because no one talks to them. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> Eleanor well, puts an ar puts her hand on Axel's arm. He's yelling at me. <laughs> uh, Spira is going to walk up to one of these Tauros, and uh, uh, she's gonna try to like use her Pokemon education skill to like calm them down. Okay. Uh, as this is going on, uh, Trent's just like, well, no, you, you see, Trent, she, Trent. she <laughs> he yelled at me. Eleanor, this ain't helping. I'm trying to reason with the man. <laughs> Trent, just let us through. We're going to investigate what ruined your fishing trip, and you'll be fishing in like two days times tops. Wait, well, while you're out there, can you find my, my super masturbate and releaser? I just bought that thing. Yeah, it cost me a ton of money. I, it, you know, when that thing, Trent. when that, when that, when that, <laughs> when, when, Mr. when, Toros, take a breath. Please, please the name of that thing. Go sit confusing. down. 
<laughs> Look, when when that thing fell from the sky and and made that giant sploosh and it it, it threw my boat. And, and now it's scattered all my balls and my super masturbate. My masturbate and release 3,000. It, it, it's at the bottom. And, and, you talk about <laughs> this when you're around, boy. Like, you, That's what you happens look, after look, you use and, and look, the... <laughs> you wonder why he keeps messing with you. And, and, and look... They say they won't believe it, but the lake is swirling like a goddamn toilet. <laughs> I think it sprung a lake. <laughs> the lake sprung a lake. Like, come on. <laughs> I irrigate my pastures with that lake. I it can't just do. be going down the we toilet. We all do, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Your problems are our problems, which is why we're trying to fix it. The longer we're here, the longer it doesn't get fixed, and the more money we all lose. Okay? Can, can can you also fix them them fifty feet weeds in my in my pasture? You they smell weird. So uh, that well, like they're arguing for with the each Rangers. Other. I don't know the legality of those weird smelling weeds around here. <laughs> they got they got they got big ass glowing glowing berries on it. I thought you may know something about it. The lake's filled what? with him, too. You got typecast oh. as the berry boy. <laughs> I was born typecast as the berry boy, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. How, how does my roll of ten uh, affect this Tauros? Uh, you take... You take one point of damage as it kind of, like, bops you. And then Ow. snorts. Eleanor just is talking to this Tauros, asking it to please go sit down, and we will leave it alone in literally two <laughs> minutes as we go through. Uh, yeah, that one Mark. responds to you. <laughs> cool. Mr. Tauros, take your friends with you, please. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty well, actually... uh, no, you're not Mr. Tauros, <laughs> I'm talking to the Tauros here, excuse you. <laughs> Uh, please, Mr. Tauros, take your friends. That is a shitty roll for a 66 plus 2. What? My, 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 my herd? Hey, hey, get back here. Go round up your herd. Come on, let's go. Hey. My kids, come on. We have places to be, people to see, moon rocks to taste. What is this? What is what? The onion. I literally don't even see where you are. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Sorry, I was zoomed out too much. Oh, he's coming to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you be getting away from that. That, that that's my truck. It, it, I'm, well, I'm, it actually I don't, don't don't really run. Uh, well, okay. Congratulations. I don't care about your truck. I was appreciating your onion statue in the back yeah. of it. I oh yeah, questions. I fished that up the other day. You <laughs> fished it up. Damn Will you let me buy it from you? Mm. Buy it. It's uh, very pretty. Uh, Eleanor, mm. this is really not the time, okay? Well, I'm gonna leave it here and I'll come back for it, but I can't let this opportunity pass us by. That mm. that sounds wonderful. Thirty. Thirty what? Grant. That's insane. <laughs> you said it looked nice. Yeah, you got it out of the ocean for free, or the lake. You know what? I don't need it. I'm just gonna go find your uh, mast, super masturbator. Uh, master uh, bait and release, three thousand. All right. If I find that, you'll give me the Celebi statue, right? Uh, what? Uh. Thank you. Sounds good, Mr. Trent. Talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs> this is a, a, a restricted restricted area. Okay, uh, and I'm a champion. And I, I should mention that the voice is very, very deep uh, for a a female. I don't and, judge. <laughs> and you just hear the other one go, Psst, eh, psst, eh. and uh, the the person in front of you just kind of clears their throat and then starts talking and then a f more like fake feminine voice. I, Professor Cypress, uh, you... No, 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 no. I, it's champions. No, no, no. 
Uh, it restricted area. Uh, it, it, we don't know what this is. Yeah, well, you're not going to find out what it is. We'll figure it call, out. Yeah, you could probably just call Cyprus to get clearance, can't you? I probably uh, could, you, you, but I'm not going to even bother. You, you don't need to. You you don't need to call call him. No, yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, so hey, I'm just going to do hey, it no. anyway. Uh, no, I, please stop. tell me. Are you are you Cyprus? What? What? I, no, no, I'm I, I I'm not Cyprus. I I I, I know Sirikoi. I, I mean Cyprus. Into their face. Then who are you? Uh, my name is... Because I've never seen you around Cyprus's lab, and I've been, you know, hanging out with Cyprus a good often uh, while this, you know, past year. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of sus. I've I've been to Professor Seroquel, I mean, Cyprus's Seroquel? lab, the, C Cyprus's lab, all the time. I've never seen you. Uh, that is, uh, fake, and I would like you to roll a guile check. You can tell that, uh, they're lying immensely. Ask them what their pronouns are. <laughs> uh, I've been alerted from the sky gods to ask you what your pronouns are. <laughs> I, I don't think that's really in any of your business, really. Uh, it is my business. Well, Not really. mysterious scientist who probably doesn't know uh, Cyprus. We're just trying to, you know, I don't know, get to talk to you so we don't have to keep calling you mysterious scientist over and over again, which is what the point of a pronoun is. <laughs> you just, you just also just hear, Psst, hey, just shut up, just shut up. Don't and go who are away. you? Yeah, uh, so that's gonna start climbing over the fence. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, I, I am I, I I am head researcher, and my name is Damien. Uh, like I said, head researcher. Uh, I I help Cyprus in the field. No, you don't. But you might have been able to fool uh, Trent. But also, my fourteen-year-old brother can fool Trent. So, <laughs> I, I, was that their guile? Yeah. Yes, I, I accidentally rolled intuition, but yeah, Guile. Oh, okay. I was yeah. gonna say, why the hell does this one researcher have, like, Max Guile? <laughs> I, I, you know, for saying that you're, like, this very important researcher for Professor Cyprus, you would think you would know who I am, considering the fact that I've been helping Cyprus with, you know, the Shadow Pokemon and all of this other stuff. Uh, and I've never seen either of you. That's really suspicious, if you ask me. Uh, Damien, was it? You know, I could just call Cyprus and ask him, you know, why it is that Damien and Mysterious Lady over there is stopping me from going and investigating on his behalf. Uh... <clears throat> Or, 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 I, or have a, a a better thing. We knock you out and take your Pokemon. Sounds uh, sounds no. great. Oh, hello. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Avery, get throw the outfit off, you idiot. Yeah. So one of them throws off like their entire outfit. Uh, you see his his like red slick back hair. Uh, you notice one of his eyes is. Is purple while the other one is well i guess in pokemon red is a regular eye color um and the other one throws off his his outfit uh, but leaves the wig on and he goes take the wig off you idiot and to to, to think i was just starting to feel kind of pretty uh, who right. in the gross is this <laughs> <laughs> Right, I love the door have an ass. <laughs> right, so you're not moving here at all. You're not to go anywhere near the the lake. You you hear and me? And who are you? It's public land, asshole. Yeah, no, no, no. Who are you? Tell I, me. I, I already said my name's Damien. I I wasn't lying about that. Okay, and Damien, what? Oh no! What are you doing? Who are you? Who are you affiliated with? Because I have a problem with you. Uh, none of none of your concern. I don't care. You tell me right now. 
All right, and with that, Excelagor gets to go first. I like the name of this music. <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Oh, yeah. By the way, when they release these Pokemon out, Eleanor would establish to the other two that these are indeed not normal Pokemon. Of course. Uh, All right, Spira, you're up. Uh, Spira is going to use uh, her shift action to disengage one meter. And then use okay. her standard action to give Hubris. Focused order. And that is her turn. Okay. Uh, hubris. Meow. Haha. One horn. Ooh, <laughs> right off the bat. Ooh, very nice. Alrighty then. Big damage off the start. All right, Eleanor, you're up. Eleanor is indeed up. <clears throat> All right, very nice. She uh, she pulls off the uh, the illustrious bone arm and smacks the shit out of this man because she doesn't have time for this. <laughs> has she uh, has she done anything with the fossilized like arm? Like to, uh, like reinforce it or like. Yeah, it has a pretty bow on it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so it is now Vin Vanillax. Yeah. I actually, I, you know, you know me in Gen Five Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd argue that the the ice cream cone is pretty forgettable. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that they got Americans to design Pokemon for the first time in that generation, and instead of making the, you know, Freedom Eagle, that they <laughs> made the ice cream cone instead? Yep. All right, Blackberry. Pork, pork. Ooh, that's a flinch. It is the Jesus man. Where is he? There he is. I'm so glad that's how you identify it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Seth, you're up. Uh, baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, Seth has the right idea. Jimmy. All right, well, Jimmy's going to use bulk up, and because he's wearing the body badge, he gains six HP. All right, uh, it is Avery's turn. Ooh. Yeah, uh, he pulls out one of those collapsible batons, uh, but at the end of it has a very crude battery pack set up to make it electrified. And just swing and a miss. Oh, <laughs> how? Pa. Gives you the old one, too. Back to Seligor. There we go. Wait. Okay. I, shadow I, Sippies. I actually meant to hit Shadow down, but I'll take Shadow Sippies. Shadow Sippies. All right. Hubris <laughs> takes 12 damage. Ah. Ah. Also, going back, uh, Eleanor took 22 damage from that punch. That's okay. All right. Spira, you're up. Uh, Spear is gonna, uh, give, uh, Hubris focused order again, and, uh, that'll, that'll just be her, be her turn. Okay. Hubris. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Hi. Yeah. Miss. Wow. Miss. All right, Eleanor, you're up. Well, you know, since that happened. Please. Uh, well, we're going to just 
beat the shit out of this man. <laughs> All right, he will, and then he will trigger Sucker Punch as an interrupt. Ah, yeah. So Eleanor takes nine damage. All right, boy. Hey. Hey. It's doing that in real life rain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right. All right. Eleanor takes 39 damage and one injury from a shadow chill is cold. Blackberry. Yummy ice cream. Delicious. Oof. Loud ass rain. All right, uh, Jimmy, you're up. Well, excuse you. You can't just touch my trainer like that. <laughs> um, and we are gonna. Oh God, Jimmy's Jimmy's move set has changed. <laughs> That's what I'm used to. Jim Jam. Uh... Yeah, yeah, fuck it. He comes running in with a blaze kick. Why did so many things go by? Oh, okay, never mind. Very nice. All right, uh, Seth, you're up. He's smack. <laughs> Not just smacking. You know what's funny to me is the fact that Damien Sprite shows up in the actual, like, chat log for me, but yep. nowhere else. He's not <laughs> yep. in the combat order. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. He sends out a stinky. Ew, not a stinky. <laughs> not a stinky. All right. And Huizing is going to taunt Jimmy. Enraging him. Ooh. Ah. ah. Hubris takes 24 damage and one injury. All right, uh, Spira, you're up. Uh, she's gonna. Uh. Gonna bap him. I just like that this just turns is has just turned into a fist fight. <laughs> well, I'm not willing to find out how many shadow Pokemon these two have. Fair enough. Uh, also, he, he did walk up into my grill. <laughs> I mean, true. I mean, Eleanor started it. <laughs> you can blame it on the fact that she's been hanging out with Jackie and Co. True. All right, very nice. Jimmy. Um. Uh, let's see. I just have to look to see what the frequency is. Ooh, very nice. And the Vanillux goes down. It's throwing in a Scrafty. You crafty, scrafty. Eleanor. Um, Eleanor is uh, gonna eat me. Um, what does Eleanor have on her person? Ah, uh, this chocolate low putty is definitely still good, right? I think I got that when we were, <laughs> we were in the. <laughs> I got it from the cafe where, um... There, there's a little bloom on it, but it's okay. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna eat it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Eleanor eats... Uh, let me make sure that I have nothing else that's a little bit lower in HP. Um, nom nom. Uh, I literally scrolled past my, uh... I'm glad I went with this battle music. 
Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Eleanor's gonna eat her chocolate low honey that she's been holding on to for a special moment. Alright. She actually has not been holding on to it for a special moment, but... Forgot about it. <laughs> well, it was worth 80 hit points, so there was no reason to ever use it. True. Uh, Blackberry. He gonna... steal. Alright. Uh, what is he stealing? Just I don't know, whatever anything? actually can because he's holding a dark booster. Uh, that is true, he can't. Alright, very nice. Damn, you still let your Blackberry use that move after what happened? <laughs> Blackberry does his own thing, so that ain't controlling shit. Alright, uh, Seth, you're up. Sir. Uh, I, sh I should mention that as you're hitting them, you are realizing that their like <coughs> outfit is uh, maybe has some light plating on it. It's not just like a leather outfit. It's got some defense going on. Ah, you knew that we'd beat the shit out of them. <laughs> the DM thought ahead. Uh, and with that... Uh, Avery is going to whoop, uh, using his, using a teleport, and then up we go. He hangs you upside down. Ah! <laughs> this will be a little bit easier, don't you think? You would target the one person who never bought a psychic booster. <laughs> or, uh, the braces. Ooh. Thank you. And Jimmy's gonna, you know, take us one step back. Up you go. Hey, look, all we said was you just can't go here. It's restricted. It's all we said. Yeah. Well, you also said you're friends with Cypress, and I called your bullshit. Alright, Blackberry takes 29 damage. Alright, the Selagor. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Suck. First takes 12 more damage. Alright, Spira, you're up. Spira is going to yeet. Yeah. Uh. All right. Fair enough. And Jimmy. Gonna give uh. Give orders. Yeah. Okay. Um. What, Jimmy what is Jimmy gonna do? Well, Jimmy can only attack. And, uh, you know what, yeah. We'll, we'll move back up to the Scrafty. And... Alright. Very nice. Hubris. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Alright. That's, uh, that's an inf... A fainted Excelgor. All right. Excelsior. Eleanor. Well, Eleanor is uh, kind of you know, at God's will, and um, well, all right, we're just gonna do me one of these, and uh, just drop Charles's Pokeball below her. <laughs> all right, fair enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot you over. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, what's Charles doing? Uh, fixing his uh, special attack because he does not have four <laughs> combat stages in special attack. Good. I thought I cleared all of that beforehand. I guess I didn't. Uh, anyway, uh, what is Charles doing? Well, Charles is gonna target... Please. I would like to target more than two... 
plant. How was? Oh, never mind, never mind. I, I think I remember. Yeah. Okay. Discharge. Hey, very nice. Gib charge. Discharge. Um, and they're both paralyzed. Nice. Charles, be prepared to catch me, because they're going to be assholes and move me around wherever. <laughs> All right, uh, Blackberry. Bonk. Or not. Yes. Lack of bonks. <laughs> uh, Seth. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a D7 in the air. It's a seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can you oh, move? You... Oh no, he's, not... he's eating. Yeah. Look, all you gotta gotta do is piss off. We'll all leave you, you gotta alone. do is try to survive one of my punches. <laughs> She's killed several things. Yeah, and then he'll do you don't the, think we uh, have? For his swift action, do the D twenty roll. Sure. Nope. Two. Farm boy ain't got much willpower. <laughs> All right, uh, my. Hello, sir. Uh, he just uh. <laughs> We know what this means. Man. No, he's not dead. Bonk. Uh, Eleanor falls straight onto the fence. No. No, Charles was under her. You moved. Oh, it. oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I fall Bonk. onto Charles, who catches me. All right. Fair enough. If you want, I will roll a athletics check for Charles. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Athletics. Let's go. Eh, that's that's good enough for six meters. Cool. All right. Well, then Eleanor would, you know, be immediately placed down so that she's not, you know, just in his arms. <laughs> Damien, no. Whoop. Uh, uh. You fool! You got closer to my. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 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 Whoop. <laughs> Which means we <laughs> bonk. Obviously, you're gonna roll athletics and be fine. Yeah, I, surprisingly, it's also a 14. All right, fair enough. The chances. The chances. Also, I'm waiting to see what Spira has going for Forge. <laughs> well, Forge was gonna fire punch him, but uh, he uh, Lumpy boy, yeah, he pussied out. So, mm. all right, Scrafty. Uh, hiya! <laughs> I'm surprised that hit. All right, Charles takes forty-five damage. Jesus! All right, Forge. All right. Fire. Charles can live. Spin. Very nice. He puts, uh, he puts wheezing in a in a fiery vortex. All right. Very nice. All right. Wheezing. He just kind of looks around and just opens his maw uh, in a burst three. Just smoke goes everywhere. And because he has sticky smoke, yeah. all targets that begin or end their turn in the target smoke screen have their accuracy lowered by minus one. This penalty may also occur multiple times. This stacks with the usual penalties. 
My it's my turn who is up in the air. I didn't realize my was up in the air. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's why he dropped concentration on you. Okay, then uh yeah. similar to the wheezing, my opens her <laughs> little mouth and just <sighs> and misses. Miss. <laughs> It just kind of like jumps back a little bit. It sounds like a PVC kickball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy. All right, so can you can you put the the sticky smoke in there so I can make sure I add the correct thing? Sure. It's just if, so if they start in here. Yeah, that begin or in their turn in the target smoke screen. Walls, so, smoke screen, all targets receiving from or in, attacking from or into, into the smoke. Yeah. So if he leaves the smoke, he'll still have the minus one. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna we'll do that. We'll take that minus one. Oh, where is the accuracy? Minus one. Cool. And, uh,. Well, we're gonna kick a man. Ooh. Very nice. All right. He just kind of goes. Ah, ah that stinks. I right, hear around holding his knee because he got kicked in the shin. <laughs> it burns. Ah, it burns, yeah, yeah, yeah. burns. 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 You know, uh, what would it take for us to just hightail it out of here? Don't do it, you coward. Uh, well, I, yeah. I'm just hedging my bets. Uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta get, gotta get home. I got, I got a family and kids, right? Uh, come on. I don't care about your family or kids. <laughs> Clearly, you don't care about them. Right. It's actually my grandmother who's actually pretty sick right now. So uh, uh huh. Look, I, yeah, and she's probably <laughs> falling down the well, Timmy, isn't she? I'll, I'll give you all the money I have. We can take no. that anyway after we knock you out. Uh huh. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit there and you're gonna answer our questions. So while this is all happening, Spira <laughs> deploys justice and uh, commands him to whirlwind the smoke screen away. So he he flutters into the sky and just blasts the smoke screen away. All right, and then. Uh, his weight. <laughs> Wee. Wee. <laughs> it gets tangled up like a kite. <laughs> oh, look at the poor little one that is all covered in blood. <laughs> That's your RP uh, one. God. Alright, uh, hubris. Um... I mean, he he defeated his foe. <laughs> Did he get his sippies because he defeated his foe? Oh yeah, I I totally forgot that. Right. Uh, so about the leaving thing. Oh, you're th th your that was a note right there. I... So if I just say that. <laughs> um... I'm done. I, I we're we're good. No. I, can I raise the the white flag? No. 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 Oh, she's gonna kill me, isn't she? Depends on who she is. Uh, I I did I say she? I mean I mean what of what of you? What of, what of you is gonna kill me? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Eleanor, you're up. 
Well, Eleanor is gonna, um... We're gonna beat the shit out of a man. <laughs> right, not the face. Any Anything but that. Right in the face. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, that... Well, I mean, uh, that wasn't the face. That was the that was the dirt. Uh, Charles. <laughs> Charles just kind of steps over <laughs> Damien. Uh, right, like, uh, yeah. oh, this is gonna hurt. I don't even know why I did that. Charles is literally a ranged attacker, <laughs> but you know. I do Whatever. it all the time. No, he's going to stand over the man and just dragon pulse him point blank. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like taking like a rifle and just putting it at somebody like right on their skin and pulling the trigger. God. Well, you can't miss if you're literally touching them. Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> Fainted. Okay. <laughs> Fainted. Yeah, yay. Uh, Blackberry. I forgot that there was still a, a scrap being <laughs> wheezing. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, boo, I guess. <laughs> boo. Alright. Very nice. Oh, shift over to the uh, Seth. Uh, Seth is gonna... Get my out of the air <laughs> before she falls because dude is unconscious now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't catch it. Uh, good little Scrafty. <laughs> we just gonna, yeah, we doing he, good. He just pulls up his pants. You don't have to fight us. We don't Is have a problem with you. Sure you want to do that? Oh, that's the, to the <laughs> throat. <laughs> and he misses. Seth is extremely diligent in protecting his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Forge. Uh, he's gonna hop down onto the onto the grass. Very nice. <laughs> this poor wheezing. Well, he started Back it. Back in your Pokeball, buddy! You have that ability! <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor, talk to the giant floating gas bag. Giant floating gas bag! Go back home. Please. It's just Go yelling home, it. you're stoned. And it just, <laughs> it just floats off the screen. Just send it. It goes back to like it where it grew up. It has like a nom flashback to being raised by its mama wheezing. <laughs> and it's daddy wheezing, which is a uh, galar wheezing. And he went to get milk one day and he never saw him again. 